All right, is this recording? Recording, I think it is recording. All right, how's it going, everybody? This is LOL Freddy again with another video. This time, this video is to show you how to uninstall um, very persistent programs that don't seem to want to uninstall. You guys know what it is. Let's say you go to your um, programs and features, you right click on it, you try to uninstall it, you get a weird error saying you can't uninstall it, or that it's busy, blah blah, yada yada yada. Well, you know what? A lot of that stuff is BS. And if you're getting programs where you can't uninstall like that, I can show you a really simple way um, how to use a utility that allows you to uninstall it super easily without even having to uh, install anything into the system at all to do it. So let's jump right up to it, or let's jump right on it, I should say. All right, so starting off, let's open up Chrome. And, oh, this is gonna, this is giving it up already. Let's go to Google. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go to Google. This is what you have. You have a Google page right open. So, what I want you guys to do is go to Google and type Revo on installer. Um, if you want, you can put portable or not. It doesn't really matter. Just type Revo uninstaller and press enter. It's gonna take you to here. Download Revo uninstaller freeware. Free and full download. Make sure it's www.revoninstaller.com so you guys don't get any nasty malware, spyware, or any of that crap. So we we'll click it, and here it is. You should see this page with all the little check marks. You don't need the pro version, and you don't need the pro portable version. Free is good. Free works just fine. So let's see. Let's go ahead and download the portable version. Now, this is really cool because you can just run it and not have to install anything in the system, and you can basically um, uninstall your program without having to worry about it. Without having to install anything so anyways click the free portable it's gonna automatically download there it is open up your downloads folder if you like and here it is Revon installer and it's packaged it's in a zip you guys know how to open zip files you can either use winrar winzip or whatever it is i believe windows has something built in already the windows unzipper whatever it is so you're fine if you can't open it i recommend using winrar but anyways it's for a different video so let's go ahead and open it. You're gonna see this right here. That's the actual file. Rebound installer, portable. What I like to do is just grab it and just drag it to the desktop. So you have it right there accessible. And you don't have to worry about running it from the archive, from the uh, zip folder. And here it is. So when you double click it, you're gonna have come up with the screen with these things in here. Language, times 64, times 86, license agreement, Rebound installer, and Revo portable. So let's go ahead and open Revo portable. Boom. So obviously it's going to ask you for your admin rights for user access control or account control. You have to be an admin to run this. So if you don't have admin rights, make sure you ask your admin to let you um, run it. If it's a parent or a guardian, if it's in a uh, corporations or a job, you shouldn't be using this. You should just contact your IT department. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm assuming you guys have admin. So yeah, just run it. You know, typical user uh, license agreement. Make sure you read it if you like. If not, it's optional. Do whatever you want to do. Press OK. And here it is. So it's going to look pretty familiar to your um, program screen on Windows. You know where you can see the actual programs we're going to uninstall? This is it right here. Um, so yeah. What I want you to do is locate the program that's giving you issues. So for my example, I'm going to use one of my programs here. Minergate. Minergate is just like a little program you run so you can mine bitcoins and stuff like that i don't want it anymore it's a waste of time for me it might not be for you but it is for me so let's say i was trying to install it and was getting errors saying this program has been used this program is in use this program is unable to be uninstalled or this program can't be found yada 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 with rebound installer you don't need to worry about that you just basically double click it and it's going to perform the initial analysis and what's cool is it actually creates a system restore point just for you so if it does end up messing up your computer, you can always restore it back to a previous state. Anyways, so the first thing that happens is it tries to push the actual uninstaller of the program. If that doesn't work, don't worry about it. But if it does come up, just click uninstall. Boom. And then what's cool about this is after you're done uninstalling a program, it's going to allow you to do scanning modes um, between safe, moderate, and advanced. I recommend doing moderate or advanced, whichever you want, however thorough you want the cleaning to be. But let's go ahead and try advanced we're going to scan it's going to scan for anything left over from the program after you uninstalled it oh and look at this even though you uninstalled the program it likes to leave leftovers in your uh, registry files so 
easiest way to get rid of this maximize it for easier viewing and I want you guys to click on everything that's bold because everything that's bold here means that it used to belong to the program since you uninstalled the program you don't need this junk it's just gonna slow down your system so you would click this and this one so those two are highlighted and then you go ahead and click delete are you sure yes so only click the bolded items because that's what's actually part of the program don't click anything else just the bolded items once you click that it's completely removed from the registry files and you can click next and then after that it's going to find leftover files and folders so this is the stuff that left behind on your app data folder look at all that all this was left behind so you can either select everything one by one or you can go downstairs here where it says select all and press the button and it selects it for you and then you delete it boom and there you go and now it's completely removed completely deleted from your system completely cleaned out once you're done you can either uninstall something else if you want to or you can just basically close out of it um, and that's pretty much it after that you can reboot your computer if you like if not you don't really have to but it's always good to um, reboot the computer to see if you're still having any issues or if the program pops up again but after that it shouldn't pop up because you literally manually just removed everything from the computer including the registry files and the leftover junk inside of your app data folder and yeah so that's pretty much it it's pretty easy um, I've run into a lot of issues where I have programs that were super persistent and I was unable to uh, completely remove them. And Revo Installer is amazing. I've used it many times personally and I've used it to help other people as well whenever I'm helping out friends and family members. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So definitely give it a shot if you have persistent programs or are basically not letting you uninstall them. This tool is very, very awesome. It actually works really well. And yeah, if you uh, have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll make sure to try and get in there and kind of help you out with it. Or you can just message me on YouTube, whichever you want to do. But yeah, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you found it helpful, feel free to thumbs up. If you already knew this or it didn't, you didn't find it helpful at all, you can thumbs down. It. I mean, it's okay. I have fun making these videos anyways. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. I like to do videos like this, little tech help videos. I like to stream video games. I like to um, do, um, uh, what's it called? Um, tips and tricks on how to um, basically run your video games better by tweaking the settings and whatnot and Other random videos feel free to browse my channel if you like, but yeah, thank you so much for watching guys I hope you guys have an amazing day night evening, whatever it is afternoon. You guys are awesome um, And that's pretty much it. Take it easy guys. Bye <laughs>